All right, hello, welcome back. Well, welcome to a new Let's Play, really. So yesterday, Sonic Team dropped this game, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. In a bold new direction, Sonic has to die. And now it's up to us, namely Tails by the look of it, to solve the mystery of poor Mr. Hedgehog's death. Now, I actually have already played this game yesterday. Uh, you know, I got about halfway through before I was like, you know what? It would have been nice if I actually uh, recorded this or streamed this, something, so I could do a bunch of Sonic voices, because uh, doing Sonic voices was a lot of fun at Sonic Rush, I think. Doing those Sonic character voices, I'm like, hey, I can brush up on the voices I've already done, like Blaze Tales of Sonic, again, Amy and Knuckles, and get some new ones in, like Vector, Espio, Rouge, Shadow. It could be a great time. So I decided, okay, you know what? Let's do it, let's do it. It's April Fools as I'm recording this. Hoping to get this published by April Fools or else it just doesn't feel right. Let's go options. So everything here should be good. Yeah, resolution's good. Assist mode, we won't do anything with the assist mode unless like I actually have trouble. I'm like, okay, look, we gotta, the goal is to beat the game. I've already beat it once. <laughs> so let's just start with the new game. Made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Say so this character in the trailer, they're named Barry. My first playthrough, I named this character Red. Uh, let's see, let's see. At right, this time, after knowing what the game is about, you know, how the whole game works, I will name them Phoenix. I mean, of course, I know it's a murder mystery game, so, but you know, now we got Phoenix. Oh, wait, wait, no, I can't. I actually saw there were references that you couldn't put in, like Monokuma, Chris Thorndike, stuff like that. I didn't know you couldn't put Phoenix. Let's try again. All right, all right. Why can't you show your face if you're named Phoenix? What's wrong with Phoenix? Let's go with right. Right, did I spell that right? Right, you did, right? Oh yeah, we can have some fun with that name. Oh, passengers can read my scribbles right. Right, right. Right is kind of, you know, as a character, a, a bit on the more anxious side. So let me go for a less goofy voice. Here we are in the dining car. Uh-oh, am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Work at the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Right, shake it off. Ah! Right, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, 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 quite all right myself, though feeling a bit bittersweet. Is that because you're a sweetie? Trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? Alas, today is my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, good congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you, my wife's very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Our shower's shower has been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today is your first day working in the dining car. Here's the menu for the day. Menu added to your inventory. I can open the inventory any time to view items I've received. I should have looked over the menu carefully. The Mirage Express's dining menu. It features chili dog, instant ramen, and cordon, chicken cordon bleu. Ah a fine, diverse palette. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave! Ha <laughs> Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Crab rangoon, spiky, spicy grilled picky, or chicken cordon blue? Ding ding ding! Glad you can read the menu, okay? Ha 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 ha! A little about the vessel. This is state of the art, high speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. Uh, what's the event today? A murder mystery party! Nothing better than some thrills to end my, my tenure as conductor. Guess we'll be funneled here to the dining car as a home base toad, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? 
I'll make you proud, sir. <laughs> I'm glad this will make it rest easy. The doors of Mirage Express are opening all aboard. I really like conductor's design. And God, the backgrounds in this game are so nice. The character art, the backgrounds, it's all so nice. The music, too. Like, God, some of this music, I'm like, can we please get this soundtrack released? Please! Some of the music we'll hear later on. They're bangers, for real. And there's the birthday girl, Amy. She's looking fly as hell. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. Uh-oh. <coughs> You're right, Tails. I could get used to staying on a train like this. What did you expect? You know I always go out for my birthday party. Uh-oh, again. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What well, cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, right? You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? Arg, of course, sir! Arg, are you a pirate? Oh no, I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's rolls to get food. Ha <laughs> sorry about that birthday girl. I'll be coming around the collector for his tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, right, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Oh, okay, got it. Ah, uh, here's the gang, the gang. They are looking good. I love that Knuckles has his hat. See, so yeah, let's start from the left. <clears throat> Howdy, could I please get your ticket? Ah, Knuckles. I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. Uh, maybe we should just do a little alone. Huh. Alright, Shadow 2.0. Going humph all over the place. Can I take your order? Not interested. Either he's really not interested or he doesn't know how to read. Uh, the chicken corn and blue does sound good though. Well, that answers that. Tails, little little dude, little, little guy with the hat. Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Th thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Ha, <laughs> absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Right, it's like, thank God someone on this train is normal. God! I've been here for two hours! So my tail's voice has completely different from Rush, but we'll see if I keep that voice I just did or if I switch back to the Rush style. Sonic I was never able to figure out a consistent voice for, so we'll, we'll see what happens here. Ticket, please! Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on board. Huh? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did! I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second, is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? Trademark? I promise you an excellent stay on your train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, 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 now. Will do, thanks. Oh, I forgot to talk to Tails a second time. Shoot! I was supposed to get Amy a cake. What am I gonna do? Oh, good luck with that. I'll figure something out. What a beautiful train. I feel completely at ease. Agreed. Great. Uh, the menu, sir. I don't like reading things from strangers. Fair enough. No, not really, but okay, fair enough. Shoot. Not his day. Can I get your order? I'll be back for that chili dog. For a hero such as yourself, it'll be on the house. I appreciate that. I kind of forgot my wallet at home. Then how was he going to buy the chili dog earlier? Ah, uh, Espio, I'm glad to see him in this game. He's pretty cool. Can we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? Oh, he's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu? 
Ninja Clan, here we stand, for real, for real? That sounds like a lot of difficult training, though. Can you cling on the walls? Cling on the wall? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks like too smart to that answer. This train is exquisite. I'm enjoying my time already. Me too. Glad to hear it. Can I take your order? I would order one of each, but I'm here for the party. I'll eat when everyone else does. What excellent principles. Plus, I had a snack right before this. Ow. Oh. Let's talk to hand. Mmm, yummy! Don't mind if I do! <laughs> Don't mind if I do! Right, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure right only gets one of those if they ask. Dun dun dun. Yeah. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh, train, the conductor was meant to have the whole plate. Please! <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat! Those snacks look really tasty, too! Okay, that does replay the whole scene. Oh, whoops! Victor, the karma collector! Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Ah, uh, yeah, sure, of course! As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. Uh, he seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have a to misplace my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket and I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Oh, that'd be amazing. Thanks, Amelian. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Fine, anything yet? Uh, we're still looking. Keep me posted, kid. Birthday girl. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Yeah, <laughs> why, certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And the murder Missy train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a true crime prog podcast. <laughs> Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along, for you, young miss. Oh, well, uh, fun, thank you. Uh, where do I use this? That unlocks any door on the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. I will use this wisely. Thank you. I wonder what cake top is signing paid out for me. Happy it's a good one. I bet you're right. Can I take your order? No thanks, I'm saving room for my birthday cake. Oh, did someone bring a cake for you? Yep, that was Sonic's job. Uh, funny, Sonic looks awfully nervous all of a sudden. <laughs> so Sonic, uh, why'd you turn and look at the wall? S Sonic, S Sonic Thumb Cake. Miss Blaze, let's go. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much, on top of it I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Princess? Did, did, did she just say P -p -p princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate? Who what? Just here for Amy's birthday. Then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. God, what ingredients do they have in not Australia? I mean, technically, that's, that's just what Rust Adventure had. I don't know what the whole soul dimension looks like, though. We'll love a game. That's about the soul dimension, uh, aside from the islands. Oh, oh, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should, should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? Oh, what are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not wait with this group? You do not need to bow every time you see me. Uh, oh, sorry. No more bowing, got it. Wonderful. I love that expression. Can I take your order? I'm saving myself for cake. Thank you, though. Are you sure? Our instant ramen doesn't disappoint. I'm quite sure. Miss Rouge, Miss Ma'am. What's good? Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she is so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Ugh. Oh, this was yours. Must have slipped out. Here you go. 
She said, I was just doing you a solid. Just so it slip out your pocket. Hi, may not actually be the best judge of character. Please excuse me, darling. I just need to freshen up before the party begins. But you already look great. Oh, we're swoosing right in. Don't I know it. Your order, ma'am. Oh, this hall looks delectable, but sadly, I will have to pass. If you get hungry later, we have the microwave warmed up for you. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't tell the customers that. That's my goat back there. <laughs> Dripless. Here. Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Oh right, a shadow voice. I just said here and now I can actually think though. Is there anything we can help you with? Mm -hmm. Do you sell gift bags here? Oh, uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. <sighs> That's terrible, so cold. All right, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? <laughs> no, no, I'm good. What else do you need? Nothing, just saying hello. Maybe I should, uh, move on. Can I take your order, sir? Only three items on the menu. Sorry, sir, is everything, not everything to your liking? I just expected a bit more from a train so state-of-the-art. You don't even have drinks listed. He's not wrong, but I'm still a finish somehow. We offer water, coffee, and chaos cola as well, sir. Straight from the water gods. A tea or whatever. I'll have to take you up on the coffee soon. Just the beans and a spoon, though. I can't get a read on this guy! Oh, we've talked to everybody. Oh! Hey, I never saw this my first playthrough. Welcome aboard the Mirage Express. Happy birthday, Amy! Weather. And now here's the weather. Ah, that's it for this one. Alright. See, so that is everything in the room. And of course, we gotta find Vector's ticket, which is nicely placed right here. What's sticking out of the napkin holder? Say, it wasn't someone looking for that ticket earlier. Let's be sure to return this to the rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost tickets add to your inventory. Okay, now it's a good sign to say, uh, well, let's talk to Vector first. Find anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. Right, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? So sad to see a ticket alone and confused like this. We'll return it. I have face. This one! Ah, there it is! That's my ticket! Thanks so much to both of you! I was really worried you kicked me out, I missed the murder mystery! Ho ho ho! All right here would have had their hands full kicking you out. You're right! I wouldn't leave without a fight! Ha 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 ha! Wait, who made me both microwave that's here? And a security guard! See, uh, uh, this character, who I've named right, the animal that they are is actually a quokka? I don't know how to pronounce that word, but they are a quokka and I will show images of this animal here, so that's cool. The writer of the game confirmed that, so, you know, that's as much of a confirmation as we're getting. That's the writer of the game. One of them, at least. I don't know if there's more than one. Anyway, you're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Raj Express. Do this for me, my final request. Absolutely. You can count on me. After all the five minutes together we've been, I won't let you down, boss. To be honest, this group seems to be capable of their own. And train? Assist right if they need any help, won't you? <laughs> That's all? <coughs> That's all I needed to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in this train. Nothing better than this. Yeah, excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. Yeah, don't worry about my car the place either. This train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all of that. For everything else, please talk to right here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do! Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit God I sent you. You all look amazing! I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? There must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards are read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on to nitty gritty! 
for the murder mystery game. One of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters will be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are a detective. You will be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the chef around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Uh, hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio, the poet, both found a library. You're that Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something? Yeah, yeah, book for it. Come on, come on, those are fun. Shadow is a locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Huh. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than all right. You can help make sure everyone's following their roles. Oh, uh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Map adds your inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There's a murderer amongst you all. We cannot say among us. We will get copyright claimed. Oh, I just said it. Oh, God, oh, God. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. You must physically be present within with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence through the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. And the murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so respect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set time for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations! Oh, this is so exciting! Oh, let me save right quick. A mystery's unfolding right under our very noses. I know, it's kind of scary. I'll admit, I'm nervous too. Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited for deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? I, I don't know what to do for Tails' voice right now. <laughs> let me, let me, give me a moment. Oh, probably instructing their station to talk amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the Lord cards are confidential. No one else is the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with Flicky, decided to join evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lord, I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this sounds kind of fun. Wish I was stuck on microwave duty. Ah! The, the, the train started moving! It's so fast, grab on the something! What's going on? I'm slipping! Hold on! I can't! Ah! No! Guys, it's only been 24 minutes, but I'm really glad that y'all, you know, stuck around and watched. Oh, never mind. Let's play over. You built the wink. Uh, yeah. Seems the train slowed down considerably. And uh, it's exhilarating though. I know. The production of this train is astounding. It's definitely more intense than I expected. Seems they've been knocked to the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. You should go check on the others. Right, could you get the door? Oh, of course. Yeah, I probably should go for a calmer voice for Tails, because this is a lot of reading I'm going to be doing. Technically, Amy's voice is, like, extra. Like, that's always how her voice is. But, you know, she's also going to be talking a lot in the story. It's literally her birthday. I got to see how well I can handle that. It seems the door is blocked. I don't think it's budging. Amy, give me that fallen shell. Oh, get that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Uh... Uh, uh, let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. <laughs> I know, Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she didn't wake up for us. Uh, something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm a detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. And you gotta help me. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet. Then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. 
Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. It was like it was five minutes ago. The conductor gave me his dying words. His final plea. We must do everything in our power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood. I will carry this task to the grave. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Yeah, let's start looking around. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Uh, sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How many comes optimistic as this kid? Believe in yourself. Come on, it's, it's just that easy. Unless they probably... Yeah, Tiny made big maybe they should have made the trash can actually empty in this one. I don't know, I don't know. The shelf blocking our exit is currently not budging. Hey, right, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen onto. And I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Y'all try to make Tails sound like a kind of newbie but peppy detective because that's kind of the this is his first case this is one of his earliest cases he's he's got the spirit definitely but you know he doesn't have all the confidence of a seasoned detective we'll go over something like that when i first played this game it took me forever to find this thing over here though was this a rod the tip is broken looks like i've originally been attached to something i'm not sure if it's related to my mystery but i like spinning it around so we'll keep it sticks is added to your inventory Ah, her debut after her mention in Frontiers. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If you find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on the train? Duh. I'll keep looking. Okay. Hold it! This music is nice. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't gonna be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was or was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Michael, you're the chili dog, of course, the dastard. I told you, I'm not eating until it's birthday cake time. Yeah, let me think this through again. You murdered a suspect. There was no one here than you and Tails, and are either of you murdered? Uh, plus Amy and I's roles are, are in roles that can't be murderous. Mmm, screen thinking is in order. You attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while right now we're knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. <gasps> Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Ah, uh, she's gotten her role of person who's being accused very well. Prove it! Prove it until the end! Do we have evidence to prove that? Right, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to a fight back. All right, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? A large number of bookcases missing. Odd. Some sort of stick. A close inspection. Could it also be a handle? Let's go with it. Take that! What? Some damage on the shelf supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. Like I said, she's really getting into our role. You have no argument here. You're grasping for straws, right? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Tails, what now? <clears throat> well, now that we've found, well, follow this train of thought, how's the crack on the shelf related to Amy? So now I have to explain myself? Well, yeah, see, I, uh, well, hmm. When I get stumped, I like to think, what would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses. Well, well, I can end his letter game. I play a lot of those on my phone. I have not played Sonic Dash in a while, but I have played that game, yes. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think, what would Sonic do? And find your argument. All right, let's prove we're not grasping for straws. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Think. <laughs> Right stream gear. All right, this theme is a banger. What? <laughs> this this track is so good. The think music is actually one of my favorites in this game. Oh my god. See, so let's get the controls in order. B 
Guys, this is good. I also really like this mini game. Like, this is a really nice game, a mini game to include in a visual novel style game. Like, a full game that is this gameplay wouldn't really fly. But as a mini game, yeah, this is really good. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall on onto, into. You telling me on the train this well kept? That the damage was a year before we arrived? Uh, well, I I saw that HP bar go down, Amy. I believe someone's responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? Some sort of stick. What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage, right? Think. Part two. Ah, that music hits. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage on the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say, a hammer. Down! Ah! HP bar down. This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. Ah! You attempted to hit the shelf on the way, out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Ah! Screen, screen goes white. It's over. She's cooked. Cooked better than our birthday cake. God. It's as you both said. I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. A little lighter carried around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective, and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little bit of grease here, and, uh, fixed. Tails, thank you! According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, should do the trick. All right, stand back! The shelf completely shattered. <laughs> Incredible! We did it! We're free! Great job, Amy! Let's get out of here! Oomph. Let's save. Wait, is that? Oh, it can't be. Sonic. Oh, someone murdered my darling Sonic. Like, given the context, it makes more sense why she's happy. Because this was like shown in the trailer or one of the screenshots. It's like, why is Amy smiling while saying this? Because we didn't know this was supposed to be a murder mystery game in the first, like, you know, they're playing a game inside the game. Like, this is all pretend. We weren't sure about that when they first started. But even the context of pretend, it feels like she'd be a little more mad. I mean, I mean, we all know it's for fun. You know, it's like, of all people, why would y'all choose Sonic? What's wrong with y'all? Looks like the game's begun. I'll find out who did this at once. Amy, wait. I want to figure out who did this, too. Wait for me. Oh, what a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Uh, is that Sonic? <laughs> My numb can't move. Oh, what are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. S Sonic? Sonic? Is, is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hands on wrist, on his wrist. But I don't get a sip. Oh, that's just a pulse. Am I doing this right? Uh, what in the world's going on, right? Is this part of the murder history? Or is this serious? Sonic? Sonic! Oh, no. Oh, no. I feel myself panic. Calm down, right? What do I do? I need to look toward the wisdom of my deceased mentor. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I leave that care to you, right? My favorite employee of one day. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. Ha <laughs> ha 
I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. You need to spar the game. I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. It begins! The saloon car! Whoa, look at this place. Amy? Amy, are you here? I've looked around. I don't see her. The game has already gone on ahead. Seems she's really excited. Do you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. Anyway, but this. What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the bit. You have nothing to worry about, promise. Plus, Sonic likes the map in all sorts of strange places. He'll be fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. It's my job to keep an eye on you. The train rules say I gotta stay and watch after everyone. You just wanna hang out with me, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. How's everyone great reading people but me? As I said, the best detectives have psychics. I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my Lloyd card? Yeah, okay. Uh, the last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. Yeah, that detective's always gotta have something. This is true. Ye varmints! What are y'all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles! We were trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy mosey through and told me all about it. <coughs> oh, enough of that. I wonder how long you kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us where you were, where you were for the murder, 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 murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi? No, I have nothing to tell you, of you. Leave me alone. He is obviously agitated about something. But why take it out on us? I know better than they argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. All right, we need to figure out what Knuckles is up to while we are all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right. Let's do it, right? Trash can number two. Something's always in the trash. Let's check there. Uh, sadly, this one's empty as well. I'm sorry, I think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Half faith. It's as I say, one more trash, another is treasure. Ha <laughs> ha. I think Tails is ignoring me. Right, this is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Douglas, are you really thirsty? Alright, this one has lipstick on the rim. That is not Nuggles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. I, I'm, he's more of a purple. We should log this. Use cups are added. Breathtaking views! The train passed by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easy. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, but I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding the carts. I will never understand this friend group. There is something wrong with all of you. I thought you were normal ones, Tails. I thought we were the normal ones. Decent, ca decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Oh, poor Oma Chow. Hate to see them like this. Uh, what they do? Medical malpractice. Interesting. Oh, good God. Howdy, partners. Spatoon free establishment in Coliseum Highway Zone. I don't know which game that is from. Ah, the bowl of sorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Ah, kind of bland. Huh, seems like someone licked all the salt off them. Oh, what the? <laughs> oh, maybe they're just unsalted. Okay, same scene. The robotic arms here are really helpful. Uh, what's the arm doing in my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh oh, should I fear for my job a little bit? Oh, the robot's taking over. Oh, welcome to microwave. Let's see, yeah, nothing else around here. Just the door, and we can't leave. Oh, that's funny. The door is locked tight. This this saloon door that we cannot possibly crawl under or fly over. I wonder how Amy was able to leave. Then, good heavens, she would not crawl under it. 
A good point. When were these doors locked and how long were they locked for? We'll have to keep this in mind. Yeah, right, let's let's look at this. Clearly we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Uh, looks like they also have 7 Dragon 2020 in here too. I don't know how they fit into an arcade, but god, that game was fire. Uh, too bad that we can't play it though. Aw, oh, man. They even got Samba de Amigo! Do we think it broke with the train sped up? The damage is looking to be caused from uh, punches. Who could have done that? That snitch named Rouge? <laughs> Duh. What are you two looking at me for? Ah, oh, smash the canine. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your head. <laughs> this is a really good sprite. Fire. 10 out of 10. <laughs> no, Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you suggest your head so we can see it better? I said leave. Oh, ow. Please don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No. You bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. I bruise easily too. Guess I wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I'd fight you. Sorry, right? I wish you luck. He's not actually gonna fight me, right? 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 Can I take your order? Uh, not hungry. Well, if you ever are, you let me know, won't you? Sure, like a butler of sorts, right? Oh, come on, right? You're not a butler. Tell them that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it! Dang, nabbit! Knuckles. Right now, I need to determine- This music goes hard, actually. Yeah, yeah, this one's one of my favorites. I was wondering when it's first played in the game. One of the reasons I want to replay. It's also a great time to hear this music, all this music again. Knuckles. Right now, I need to determine what you were doing during the hour when the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off, you're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. <gasps> it, it is. We had evidence, too. We do? Right, just take a good look at inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? A Super Monkey Ball arcade machine completely smashed up. It's a shame to see Super Monkey Ball in this state. And Seventh Dragon. And Samba de Amigo. That car arcade machine? Ha! What makes you think I touched it? We don't got a thing for this one, but okay. <laughs> Ain't much thinking required here. I don't know. How did the guy named Knuckles smash this machine in a way it makes it look punched? Bro kicked it. Whoa! This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game! Well, Super Monkey Ball has adrenaline pumping Monkey Ball action. This proves nothing about the current situation. Maybe not off the mark, let me try again. Because your hair was found at the scene! Hair? You mean fur? Fur? You mean spines! It doesn't matter, because it seems I'm wrong here. Spines? You mean skin! The arcade cabinet is covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? Knuckles. Knuckles. What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I need a punching bag and number available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe we can't repaint it. My key machine will give us our answer. No! Oh, how will you? I'm gonna pretend that I don't know that your tail's the mechanic. How, how could you possibly repair the machine? I'm on it. Right, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Play punch out with Knuckles, like in real life. Bring it on. No, please! <laughs> Get away from me! Right has to run away from Knuckles the whole time. It's one room. Somehow, Wright's able to avoid all his punches, though. I know it's a really small touch, but I like how each thinking area has their own background. Like, each thinking room, you know. The saloon, we got the cactus and stuff back there. And we got green and yellow, which, you know, I don't know if this is a reference to Nux's color scheme. But it, it could be. Ah, oh, whoops, sorry. There's no text log in this game. I, I forgot. I missed that line. Whoops. 
Anyway, Tails probably said, oh, look, we got it fixed. Or I got it fixed, thank you. No, don't look at the scores. Uh, quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. This picture's beginning to be painted here. You compete with Vector to see who can get the highest score. And Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. He is five hunting the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Ah, we're at this stage. Bring me the evidence. Vector's a common name. <laughs> Proved to me he was here now. We've reached this point of the detective game. It's like, you prove every little detail. If I didn't say specific words, then it doesn't count. Like, if I didn't say a specific set of words that you were implying I said, then I did not even suggest that this statement was what I was trying to say. Not at all. It's over, Knuckles. It's over. Now, right. What proves Vector was here with Knuckles? Use Cup City on Saloon Cars Bar. One cup is a little stick mark on the rim. No! I thought it was strange that with more than one cup sitting next to you. Well, you're supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoy some drinks playing arcade. It's... I, I'm... It's, it's not like... It's not. I wasn't. Oh, d don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. <sighs> it does, you say. Victor popped in at the top of the hour and wanted to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure out that game, but when we did, we competed for highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told the bridge version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of these cups. But what the cup with the lipstick mark? Eh. We were just in here, too. <gasps> it's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our games, then left. Obnoxious, that one. Man, she ain't a fan of Super Monkey Ball. But you offered her a drink, apparently? Listen, I don't know why she shut up. I told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Hey, are you not satisfied? You two relent. Hmm, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visit to play games. Rouge couldn't find something left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. Well, that makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our questions. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Uh, I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Right, can you take one look? One more look at me? One more look for me? And on name and high score list, what is Tails talking about? Got Vector, Nuck, Toast, Apple, Bread, Ultim, Bagel, and Candy. Ultim. All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Ultim? Ah, uh, we know that guy. We, you may not know, right? But there is someone here who goes by the title. The Ultimate Life Form. In his silly little hat today. There's really someone here that goes by that? So I like how this is kind of like, I don't know how canon you know, this is, because... Like, overall, I mean, it could fit into the, you know, any point in Sonic canon. Uh, I mean, almost. But it's like, how common knowledge are the Sonic characters to most of the people in the world? Like, Sonic the Hedgehog. This character, you know, right, didn't even recognize Sonic until they were like, oh, yeah, it's great to have a renowned hero and all that stuff on the boat, on the train. And they're like, wait, that's Sonic the Hedgehog? Not that sneaks by you, does it, bud? Victor and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. He tossed the game was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Victor and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. Y'all swept him, Jesus. They're both very annoying. <laughs> you all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Victor was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not so long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. Oh, that's right, the conductor gave him the special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy axe, and I went all yee-haw on them, and they did not appreciate the, the act. 
It was embarrassing. You got to find Mask for yourself. More information I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough, the library's the next car. I'll open it for you. Give over KO to Sonic and Earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I don't like the better way of some talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, right, let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than my great chili dogs. Right. Get coming. Ready to mosey down the next car? No way, dang nabbit. I guess you better can wait a little longer. Yeah, let's save. All right, we've done everything here. Yeah, no other things to click on. Let's go. Plus, does Knuckles say anything new? Yeah, armaments better pull up chalks, I say. Oh, he's still the sheriff. Yeehaw. Okay, I never saw that line, so good, good that I saw that this time. You got it, partner. Onwards. Hang in there. All oh, this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite Jerry's reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Oh, God, I'm got to do a whole voice segment with Vector. Before you go, Espio and I want to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Oh, Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Uh, want to join some finding clues? A flathead, but at the pace you two are going, Sonic's murder will never get found. Oh, she's confident. She must have something up her sleeve. The tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one who bid you. And quick. But how are you going to leave? The door in X car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl. The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Ah, of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case for anyone else does. Bye. Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty sussy, as the kids say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm a... You'd ask if anyone's hungry. Starved! I killed for chicken problems all right about now. Maybe kill is the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to kill. And I'm SBO, the poet. Ah, poetry. A resident message from poet to reader. Meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Uh, sure, uh, teardrops in the spring, can you hear me sing? La 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 la, dee 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 dee, dee 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 Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm, uh, satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Right now you're here to establish both your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had ever leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We should explain to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, and Shadow, and Sonic all passed this library car, where Amy told me and asked me to stay. I promptly picked up a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so we left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick sting in a cup of saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search in the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! At the brochure stand over there. Uh, but she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. I wonder what she found. She always been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car. Then into the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked to the library car, a saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us all up at Super Monkey Ball. I got someone gross by the rolling monkey action. I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. That is some hardcore monkey action. I guess he walked through the library car and the casino car. Again, locking the door behind him. And then he returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door of the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were about the bookshelves falling us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped her until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one who told us that someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm, with all these locked doors, seems Vector Espio couldn't have left the library car or his loon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around. We'll turn to any questions. If you turn to any meat, I'll chop it up while ya. And if you'd like to be serenaded with the poem, uh, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys. These alibis seem solid enough, but we should still search for clues. 
What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We can with the reason for leaving his past. Post. <laughs> Vector has left his past behind. And to turn if SBO is actually in the reading, library card reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Alright. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. Wow, I really need to see this. Huh? This little chow's hanging in there. We're using, it, we're using to use his wings to fly to safety, because choosing the hard way is often most rewarding. Tails looks like a sad puppy. That's beautiful. It's just Chuck Sticks' principles of fine strength that I can too! There's no way there was that much thought put in this poster. Right? Chaos Cola! Check out our book club. Book of the Month. Gone Gal. I don't know if that one's a reference to anything. Oh yeah, there's that one guy from Sonic Forces. Ian Jr., I think. Oh, brochures! They have travel destinations here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Right, look at this. There's a couple of maps here. This seems to be a map of a library card. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Library maps out of your inventory. Should we take this brochure about a cave, too? Look, there's stalactites. Ah, uh, nah, let's leave it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Nomination life bonus for caves. It's alright, right? You should pick up that brochure for yourself once we're done. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these are knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out too for ser searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the four books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. The time has come. Something's always hidden in this trash. Let's check here. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Ah, uh, I really thought there was something here. Right, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No, I'm all right. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in this trash bin we find. <laughs> you, you really think so? Um, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay, these trash cans, these trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. Right, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. What's that supposed to be a compliment? Uh, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so plush. Because you're right in the mood to read. I mean, see when I take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Right, no! Don't fall asleep! There's been a murder, remember? Yeah, if I had a ring for every time, murder ruined my nap time. God, I live in Ohio! Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling to clean up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Glue of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. These islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. Ah, yeah, they're trying to... That's that thing they established in one of Tales 2 ep episodes. All the Sonic-like characters live on the islands, and the places like Spagonia are part of the mainland countries, like, you know, Spagonia, Soliana, those sorts of places, where it's mostly humans. So that's cool that they're continuing that. I actually like that, because I'm like it does kind of help, you know... Keep the old games still feeling like they're part of the main series. You're like, you know, it's not just like, why are there, you know, no other animal people here? It's because they're on the main islands where a lot of animal people don't live. But they still, you know, I hope in future games, if they ever go back to the main human islands, I don't know, they're starting to get some more respect to 06 of all games. You know, they got at least one a poll and she got some actual official art um, on Twitter. So, you know, if they go back to any human location in, in uh, future games, I'm hoping there's like still some animal people sprinkling around and just be like, yeah, this is mainly where humans are, but there's, there's sometimes animal people here. And like vice versa, I mean, we see vice versa sometimes where it's like, yeah, the human are two in the animal islands. Not that often, actually. Either way, I would like to see. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people in shops. The food can't be beat either. This game is making me hungry. I feel like they talk about food a lot. <laughs> Oh, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you ever visit, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and make one scrumptious sandwich. That's shit scrum diddly umptious. Tails, you shouldn't be saying that. Oh, but I'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? Let's see. Oh. Yeah, yeah, this. What's this bright red book? Oh, yeah. This reeks the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. 
Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. I want to know what Dr. Eggman's cooking. What was he cooking? For real. All kinds of recipes. Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird there's even here. Though I think that, yeah, Sonic, they are releasing like a Sonic cookbook. There's probably some Eggman recipes in there. Many people are preaching omelet. I love omelets. I actually love eggs. You may not be wrong. Uh, let's see. What if we not investigated? Well, the door, I guess. Shadow's supposed to walk through the library uh, car before going to the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on the way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Oh, yeah. I believe we should. Definitely. And here. Wow. I wish I could stop and look at all these books. Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Uh, well, I mean, a little bit of your one art. He's scavenging through all the book tiles excitedly. It's a kid in the candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. Oh, that's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but... Every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Uh, maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. I think we found out the clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find what really happened. Fancy a poem? Uh, can I get a poem about space? Let me get a, uh, space. I've made it up to space, but I feel love an antique vase. But mistake in my haste, dropped my vase from my embrace. So my antique I must now replace. Bars, as the kids say. What caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? Let me get that train poem. Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh, wait, there's my lotion. Lotion. Oh, uh, th thanks. I actually really like that one. Huh? <laughs> huh? Can I take your order? I have a poem about this. My starved stomach babbled, though I ignored the grumbly tummy. For the eggs I received were scrambled. When I asked my eggs, Sunny. Oh, wow. Well, uh, we don't deserve any eggs on the train, though. My town is wasted on you lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, alright, let's... Did you bring me any meat to chop? Nah, I may be butcher, but they confiscated my meat clear before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Authenticity! Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup stain apron! Not a butcher. Nah, I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were in the murderer. Uh, what if I hit the knife? Yeah, no, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Okay, same stuff. Mm, gotta take your order. Oh, yes, please. I am starved. Actually, I'm off duty in the moment. The murder series is more important. <laughs> then why would you show the menu to me? Come on, right? Why would you tease him like that? And here I thought I could trust you. You made a fool of me. Oh, look, right? You made a fool of him. Come on, right? Smooth this over. No. I am the fool. Yeah. Yeah. I smooth things over, but at what cost? I think that was everything. Not like cold cuts for a cold case. Let me know if you need any good butchering. Very well. All right. So, the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without explaining the validity of your alibis. Examining them, even. Wright and I are here to confirm two things. Why Victor left to go play games with Knuckles, and Fitzgerald really was reading in the library car. Victor, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? Prepare to present evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Uh, what? I wasn't entertaining him enough, he's, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine, the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. Seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, SBO. Rouge entered the library car and found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading. But would you actually read the entire time in the library car? Of course he was! Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Hmm. Espio doesn't owe you that. Detective. Let the man live. Vector's like, yeah, you call yourself a detective. Look who you're talking to. Look who you're talking to. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? Espio, what do you read? What is he up to? If you will talk, I have a hunch what that book might be. 
Hardcore! But right, could you help me out? All right, right. What book do we think SEO may have been reading? Oh, an exhaustive manual of the Mirage expresses many features and capabilities. Doesn't seem to mention how to drive the train, which would have been neat. Hmm. A manual? You think SEO is reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Love that Vector's the one backing up SEO. I was like, I gotta back up the army! Also, I love this. The obstacles are SPO's weapons by the looks of it. Like, that is good. I like that. I really like that they, you know, went a little extra in these uh, thinking segments. Because you yeah, have green and purple. Those are like Vector and SPO's main colors. That could be another match for like a color scheme. I forgot the colors for the uh, very first one inside the closet, but it might have been. You know, pink and yellow. I wouldn't be surprised for Tails and Amy. There are books scattered around the floor, sure. But the remaining books on the shelves are all in alphabetical order. Uh, except this manual, meaning someone at the very least picked up the manual and put it back in the incorrect place. Huh. Lack of attention to detail isn't only like you, SPO. Yeah, now's another good time to say I just really like the sprites in this game. God, these character sprites are really nice. So I like how they actually don't have shading except for pure black to just to use like the same line color as the color for shading areas. I love doing that in my art. And so I always like seeing like this sort of shading style in official games. Cause you know, people see it as a lazy style. It's not as, you know, oh, it was not as detailed as, you know, putting actual shading and everything. It's like, no, I really like this style. Just, it really works. Like when it works, it works. Especially cause they got the textures on these characters. Like if you look at Tails, anyone here, like you see this, just a, this texture, like pasted onto all of them. That just really makes this look nice. Like, that's the kind of style that I like going for in my art sometimes. Anyway, enough gushing off the art. Hey now, I won't have you assault my pal. I like the. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, SBO. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can bloom anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading The Mirage Express Manual. The trains are cool. And he was spitting. He was real for this. Trains are really cool. Especially trains like these, like, have all these different train cars. Uh, those, I really want to get on a train one day. They just seem really cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few more questions about the manual, right? If you don't mind. Oh, could you ask SPO some questions about the manual? Just flip to the page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz SPO about the manual to prove you read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Okay, I'm going to try to choose pages I did not choose the first time around. So let's go to 14. i pretty sure I did not choose. Okay, uh, what efficient, extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. Wait, no, I have seen this one. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks. I'm responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I'm really good at saying the train can clean itself. I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire the janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought on the train, ensuring passenger safety. He's like, SPL ace that question. Wait, right, hit him with another one. Hit him with the combo. Uh, let's go with 231. Okay, yeah, these, all these seem like they actually do lead to the same, uh, answer. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds, and you'll be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you are over the age of 65. Gee, the person who wrote this must have been over 65. Last one, right. Let's see if we can go three for three. Gotcha, which page should I pick last? What was implemented to support the conductor's duties and ease general train obligations? Intelligence data processing systems, it works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this, she's an autopilot, but it can't access the full suite of capabilities of the conductor at present. Now, did I pass your little test? No. I had to say it, but no. Huh? Ah, just goofing, you're fast. I complete your test with ease. All my efforts willing to please. But you joked and jape, said no to my face. Now I wish you were riddled with fleas. He's why I'm a curse at me, boy. He just cursed me and my whole family. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you're both a nerd to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. Buddy answered my question so calmly that's very impressive. Now, though, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading. After all, my alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. <gasps> Well, you definitely read through the manual, so suppose we can- SPO! Is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? 
Frankly, I don't believe it can be true. And we have Epson back it up. Right? I guess. Oh, he's talking to me. I thought I was on the spot. Okay, right. Thank. We have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw his bill reading, but what? Oh, right. He probably this. Because I actually forgot which one this was. Shadows lock. Please, pray tell, what does this have to do with anything? We're up, right? Let's get our argument together. It has been a while since we had to think. No, it hasn't. Right, we've done this one before. That's what I'm talking about SPO's weapons. Oh, nice number of rings there, Sonic. Shadow walked through that banger music to the library car to get the saloon car where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't a high score for long. Crocs are natural gamers. <laughs> it's time for the most oppressed minority to rise up, gamers. SPO said he saw Shadow into the library car, but he mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentioned that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, SPO was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. Yeah. We knew Shadow had to walk through the library car when he left the saloon car. Whenever a character does that sort of thing, that, you know, that dot 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 exclamation point, I do imagine like the the Ace Attorney screen shakes, like damage sound effect, all that stuff that goes on. Absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Oh, I, I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice my no Shadow. You told me the sounds of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up. I will, you see. I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that I was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow return to the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Wright, one that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book that I didn't know the Shadow passed back through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me in the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see your reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why does this seem right to me? Right. Tails definitely feels like he's on to something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return library car? What should I do? Defend Espio. I had to make sure I get something care of. I had to speak up. Tails. <laughs> we have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. A piece of evidence shows that Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another. The only piece of evidence we have not used yet. The library map. The overhead library. Alright, now let me get my thoughts in order. Like, I actually could see this being a, uh, a future game's special stage, you know, mini game, something like that. Like, th this could work. They could be on to something here. Because it's basically, you know, it's, it's the same style as other special stages. Just, you know, got the isometric view and that sort of stuff. Expand on it maybe a little bit. I don't know, special stages don't have to be, like, you know, that involved, that intense with the features. The library map? Oh, oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across one another in a straight path. If Shadow walked down the straight path, there is a way that Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen each other. Looks like you have to point out where exactly the map you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Interesting, that is where I was seeing reading my book. I can second this. When I turned for the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because there's a bookcase in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense when you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. 
There's no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping for straws despite telling the rightful truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering our questions. We did it. Another pile of alibis are validated. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything's straight and self out in the end. I also learned a valuable life lesson that Crocs are indeed gamers. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, especially Shadow. Oh, sees the door our next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Victor and Espio. Give him heck. If you need any meat chopped up, say the word. Whoever the killer is, I'll take care of him. I'll keep my poetry shut for you both. A murder is on the loose while doors are getting locked. Tick tock, tick, tick, tick tock goes the clock while heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, right? Let's do it to him. Coming. You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? This one will look around. You can never spend too much time in the library. Yeah, we do need to talk to these guys. Bring me an enemy to slice up. No, I'm not sure we will, actually. Your loss. May the breeze drift you toward success. A one sentence poem for you. Oh, italics? You have to qualify as a poem? Yeah, italics and smaller font. You don't get it. And the child literally got an entourage helping him out here. You don't think this is a poem. Come on. Sorry. Sad puppy tales. The mystery calls. <laughs> okay, the rescue continues. Uh, it's time for the casino. You know, Sonic always gotta have one of these. One of these bad boys. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We would like to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you brought the microwave master with you. Oh, please don't let me do that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks has brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Ugh. Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Uh, Blaze? All oh, right. I bet you for a treasure room to be stored here on the train. T treasure? Yeah, they certainly didn't tell you about the treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of the collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. All right, well... Oh, I thought Blaze was saying that as, like, affirmation. You know, when someone says, like, hey, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm part-time collector. Yeah, tell him! Tell him! Let him know! I thought that's what Blaze was saying. She literally said, yeah, tell him what's up. All right, well. It's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But Blaze will tell me you accepted Amy's birthday and buy only to find that egg. I hope we can have multiple goals. I gave Amy your birthday present already, so everything is well taken care of. She wrote me on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduce that the Fabergé Chow egg is here, in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, is the treasure's real? It's actually here? And what'd you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let's see that. Nah, -uh, finders keep it, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right into the room holding the Fabergé chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card and use that elevator. And our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé chow egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issue here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, her little work card must be losing a decision here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Mix of both. Maybe. Right? Do you have a problem with this? Or do you have an opinion on this? Let me save right quick. I did not choose stealing is for squares last time. I doubt that'll just stop the scene. Stealing is for squares. I think the square here is you, microwave master. I must admit, that wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. Oh, God. No, my cool and mysterious reputation. It's crumbling. I should have chose the option I chose the first time. Alright, alright, I'm in, I help. I love peer pressure. Well, it's supposed to blow Blaze and Amy. I mean, Blaze and Wright are in. Where'd Amy come from? 
Okay, let's get the Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> that's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now, we must plan. Oh boy, what are we gonna sell us into? I love this. The Sonic the Sketch Hog style drawing. I'm pretty sure these are the Sketch Hog style drawings. Uh, access to Fabergé Chow Egg Room is behind locked elevator door. The security guard is the access card. Do we A. Attack the guard. B. Bribe the guard. Or C. Distract the guard. Let's start by just beating the shit out of the guard. Please. I can't say I'm comfortable attacking a chow. Let's keep violence to a minimum, shall we? Less fun, but I agree. Let's think about it again. Bribe. Anyone hear anything we use for a bribe? I have a pair of tweezers. Oh, he's a training card. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. I'm not giving you anything. Maybe bribe means no way to go. Thanks, please. Let us distract the guard. Distract them. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. We're all a bunch of baddies here. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Right, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in the casino, my poker face needs to work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? See, the thing is, like, Rouge, this is, like, not her role. Like, Rouge basically does the whole package deal by herself. You know, she's a massive treasure hunter. She's probably doing whatever to get to that treasure. So, you know, she would not be the first one to choose, which is why I'm gonna choose her first. Of course I distract them. Who could resist my feminine charms? I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. Plus, your fight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being a distraction makes sense. Ah, oh, well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. She's like, I rule to seduce the guard. The, the guard is two months old, Rouge. Let's see. Okay, who actually was the right answer? I forgot. I don't think it was Tails. Okay, yeah. Sure, I could be the distraction. I don't like the way he said that. Veto. I'm with Blaze. His delivery was shaky. No, 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 don't really like I, 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 I do it. Sorry, buddy, but I think you'd be better off elsewhere. In that case, think you could distract the guard, Blaze? I am my life. I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Yeah, great. Her voice is so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Uh, push your poultry chips to the ground, causing a ruckus. I like it a lot. That'll get the guard's attention for sure. Let's move forward. Okay, so see like all the answers would have been right there. Because I have seen the um, claw machine one. Someone else playing through. And I chose the uh, ask about the family one for my first playthrough. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how would you get the access card? All right, let's, let's, let's ask for it kindly. No harm in asking, right? Oh, you naive, innocent soul. Such a fresh face, this one. So cute. So cute. <laughs> Do you suggest we take the guard out shoe shopping next? I don't think y'all wear shoes. <laughs> These ladies are ruthless. I better rethink this. Grab them and fly up to the rafters. I don't know. I don't want any violence. There won't be any violence. I'll just tie them up to a rafter. Easy. Where do we get the rope? Interesting point. Let me try something else. Ah, oh, snatch the excess key, no problem. That chow in uniform with this comically large cup of... Dog Coca Cola Coca Chaos Cola. That's that new brand, Coca Chaos Cola. Will not notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. She's like stealing candy from a baby, which is fine by me. No promises. But the co-op team, we need to get Blaze out of there. Right? What's your plan? Push the security guard over. I am still not confident with any violence here for the last time. It's just a little push. That child's low to the ground, it won't hurt them. But if you start crying, it'd bring our attention to us. Why well, is someone who cries when he's like a security guard? Ah, uh, decent points. Let's think of something else. Pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Blaze, do you take my lawfully wedded hand? Then you'd be married to the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, I got. Uh, mm, where this was this one time in Ohio. You dress far too plain. You need complete refashioning immediately. Uh, you know, maybe show us something else. Oh, whoops. No, I need to see that. Any war crimes? Interesting, you give up far too easily as well. Well, let's work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. All right, let's, so there's that drink without a coaster. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never last such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. I am sure of it. Great. The guard distracted. We will all head up the elevator. And just like that, we all make it to the elevator. Inside, we... 
Celebratory dance, pop an apple cider, sing a victory acapella. Let's dance! Now that's a proper victory! Oh no, one last security mission we didn't account for! What do we do when the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Give him some high fives, give him some high fives. The end of those arms are claws, I'm not touching them. My high fives are getting away all nilly, willy nilly, they are to be cherished. I don't think my hands will survive a high five from them, let's rethink this. Dale, here my suggestion. Time one, big knot. My shoes don't have laces. Is anyone here know how to tie a knot? I have never tied a shoe in my life. Yes. Well, y yes, Sint. Um, I can. I gotta sing a little song while I do it. I'm gonna step in here and veto this. Let's think of something else. I guess someone didn't want to hear my song. Alright, Tails, do your thing. I should be able to dis disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails taking a while the time to tighten in their grip. God, <laughs> Tails' eyes are. No, that's, um, that's Wright's eyes over there. The blue one is Wright. The orange one who's a bunch of boxes, Tails. Pretend there is nothing wrong. Tails managed to do it. Oh, <laughs> okay, that one was. Everything was correct. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right, let's see what's up that elevator. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning before him was very thorough, I must admit. It was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Babergé chow egg. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of hour rouge. We know what's up here. It's okay. You can have it. What could they possibly be storing in all these? This is the casino class post. It's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings too? Rings? You can find those lying about in the grass. That's of no interest to us. Let's focus on the real prize, shall we? All right, we gotta find the safest Fabergé chow egg inside. No question. This has gotta be safe with our treasure. Enter in the cone of blueprints to find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 230401. Oh, that's the day the game came out. Technically, the day the game came out. It came out yesterday, March 31st. But yeah, because if I was first playthrough, I was warning, I was like, huh, does this mean anything? Yeah, I didn't realize. Yeah, 2023, fourth month, first day. There could be a sound effect there. there could be. Oh, wow. It's here. <laughs> I have it. All right, before anyone else sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever. Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows a secret, because anyone who's ever opened one of these has never lived to tell a tale. You can open the egg? You sure can. All of you will bear witness to a secret. R Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it, bop it, spin it, pull it. And voila, we will die soon. This track goes hard too. <laughs> this is one of the other tracks I'm like, oh yeah, I'd like to replay to listen to this too. Because the ticking actually becomes part of the music. That's good. That is good. Uh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Rouge has no one left to tell the uh, tell secret. Because the each egg is a bomb. Uh. I thank you, honest something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. We dispose of it after all my hard work. Rouge! Oh, fine, fine, but what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with the bomb? We got a lot to do, and I will do every one of them. A great idea. Let's twist the egg again. Stop, stop, that's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. I would like that the music went faster after that. Throw and lock it in the safe. Quick, put the egg back, Rouge. Oh, okay, fine, it's going back in. Hmm? Tails, the safe won't lock. The door's staying open. Uh, what, close the door and twist the dial. I obviously am. There must be some weird way to really relock the door. Some other buttons are dials, how are you supposed to? We don't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. Toss in the elevator. All right, down it goes. We're clearly not going to blow up the elevator. Let's rethink this. No, but any salt I won't. Really right. Really right. Grasping for straws. Oh, probably four times for jokes. Ah, yeah, you really are right. All right. Take one for the team. Take one for the team. Here, give it to me. Uh, get, get as far away from me as possible. Just remember me as I am a hero. 
No, right! We won't let you do that! I mean, that's what I want to do. Who are we? Stop! The microwave kid's obviously not gonna sacrifice himself. Their body's far too scrawny to contain any sort of blast. True. Alright, let's take something else quickly. Open up, see if this wire is cut. Uh, what do they mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire, you gotta cut one. Like the movies. This isn't a movie, right? This is real life. <laughs> oh, he's got a good point. All right, here goes nothing. Rouge. Yeah, we should probably think we're not a different kind. <laughs> Blaze up the egg on fire. Call me crazy. Perhaps fire and explosives shouldn't mix. You don't think fire would neutralize the blast? You just like to say things, don't you, right? Maybe. Let's cool down on his tails. Cool the bomb down your tails like a fan. Worth to try. I still hear it ticking, however fresh the, play the breeze may be. Mm, okay, new plan. Stomp on the egg. Just how I like my eggs smushed. I'm guessing you don't like this idea? Obviously not. Rock me to sleep. So you think this egg is cranky and needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the ideas, guy. Let Rouge kiss the egg. It's as they say, love always prevails. I still hear the ticking. <laughs> what a prude! <laughs> Making out with the same an object did not work. Chaos control the egg away. Where did you hear about chaos control? Doesn't matter. We need a chaos to be able to do that. Or, you know, a, ca a person who can actually do that in the first place, like Shadow. And Sonic whenever he feels like it, which is never after SA2. Oh, and after 06, I mean. The game that we all forgot about, though, also, technically. Everyone except Sonic by the looks of it. Well, dang nabbit! Flip the egg upside down. Right? What's flipping it going to do? God, it really does pick up like playing a story with all these suggestions. I don't know. Try it. Nothing. Happy. Yeah. Tell the egg to stop. <sighs> stop. That did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. Let's finish ticking and see what happens. Are you insane? Do you want to just blow up? We need to dispose the bomb right. That is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Hear me out. Hear me out. Oh, wait, that's right. Right, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? I'm right. Spit it out, right. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just, it's did say something interesting when we quizzed them about the train's manual. Okay, uh, what efficient, extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms, doing events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosive beings brought on the train, ensuring passenger safety. <laughs> These robot arms that are attached to the elevator seem to have a lot of function here on the train. If a bomb was brought on the train disguised as a Fabergé chow egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows that coming and going on the train is a conductor, and he's sure they wouldn't last a thing either. So, if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, we wait. Okay. I need to draw Rouge in that outfit. That outfit goes crazy, actually. The egg, it opened! It's hollow, not a bomb at all. We both really were onto something. Whoa! My, my, well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Here, look what's inside. Ah, nice. Wow, look at that sparkle. And it's so heavy, too. You could kill a person with that. The final secret of Fabergé Chow Egg is a chow covered in gems. Like, if this were the full detective game, we would learn that there's some blood on this on this heavy chain. We're like, uh-oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> it's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Let her. Just let her, please. <laughs> Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé egg's secret. I wonder why the egg... Why, if the egg wasn't a bomb? And because they weren't as tough as us? I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they actually died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. No one seems to suspect anything. The security guard is back at their post. I hope they subdued the dream coaster, fiend okay. Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. 
Stealing was strangely fun. Uh, don't act like you haven't stolen before, Tails. Come on. Uh, but I've heard to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled child. Oh, what? What? What is it, darling? Uh, about those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look at them? While I appreciate your assistance, it is as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any of the treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to them sentence to make things better. Let her. She's doing it. She's doing the damn thing. I think she made everything better by saying sweetheart. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. That's why she will kill you with a kick. Well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, should I give me and Rouge one of these? He passed through earlier. Let me lock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as many, just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door is unlocked. Both you stay safe. Thanks again. We'll do. Come on, right? Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Yeah, before we do, we gotta look around the room. The capabilities of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know. Gector was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that is true. They're very versatile. Oh, I don't think I just saw this one. Tails, we must search the trash bin. Oh, it's empty. Uh, oh, did I hear an O? I always believed in a thorough investigation, even being in the trash. See, it's all about persistence, Tails. My dad told me that when he met my mother, he would drive to her work two hours every day. Oh my god, I have not seen this at all. My dad told me that when he met my mother, he would drive to her work two hours away, away every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. She quickly agreed to a date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, the two were married. It's all about caring, dedication, and persistence. That's um, very sweet, but all that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. Ah, uh, lollipop stick? Yeah, like the leftover stick from the lollipop. Uh, that's all that's here. Right? Right? Is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? Is it funeral time already? Just leave me be. And here. Huh? That's Dr. Eggman's logo. I suppose he does deal a lot with casinos. He's an evil scientist who always caused trouble for us in Sonic. Hmm, every Poké Chick I've personally seen has had Eggman's mug on it. So I'm not too surprised to see this here. I do wonder how Eggman is seen by like the masses, like people who don't know him, because he clearly has like ownership of a lot of stuff around the world. Like in some games, Sonic Battle, he uh, had those security robots that people could literally purchase like for their establishments. And in, you know, Sonic Rider Zero Gravity, which is kind of its own sort of timeline, maybe? He runs Megalo Company, which I think also was some sort of security robot things. So that's like his number one thing, security robots or like, I mean, he's literally a genius. Like, he can build these robots and sell them for big money. So, yeah, I, I could see him, like... Yeah, Casino also seems like something he would run. I'm not too surprised to see this here. That's fair. I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised, then. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in. Oh, yep, yeah, he's built a lot of them. But I've never just sat down to play any for fun. Ready for some... Hold them? I don't know how to play that. It's easy. Let me show you. Right? We simply don't have time for this. We must avenge Sonic. Probably a good idea. Wanna play Blackjack? I don't know how to play that. I don't know how to play either. Right? We don't have time for this. Oh yeah, this room's jackpot. 1,800,660. I wonder if that means anything. Ah, Knights. Coming soon. Knights Pinball. I have played Sonic Spinball. Played the Knights stage in that on the Game Boy Advance. No cheating. Visit Twinkle Park. Nice. I do wonder, I, I feel like I could do a let's play of Sonic Adventure uh, 1 and 2. Because I've not actually played Sonic Adventure 1, I played 2, but not 1. Anyway, let's talk with Blaze. I was about to say Rouge. Blaze. Pulling up the heist is much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Can I take your order? Can't you do anything on the menu? You know, I actually really want chili dogs now. <laughs> now that I've. Yeah, think about the menu. Yeah, microwave is fine too. God, I want Coney Island now! I'm content for now, thank you. Four chili cheese conies. Now, I used to actually be really afraid of chili. Like, <laughs> cause when I ate it when I was a little, little kid, I got really sick after eating. Like immediately, almost immediately after eating. And I just have not tried chili, like for at least 15 years after that. I don't know. Um, 
that stuff is good if, if you're looking with, at the right place. The right people, the right place, they know how to prepare that stuff. That stuff is good. The whole, maybe the eggs bomb thing destroyed my appetite. <laughs> yeah, I was nervous myself. You could tell, you still have uniform pretty often. Yeah, you're a very um, animated person. Wow. <laughs> your alibi? You think you go over your ally again for us, Blaze? When you begin the murder mystery, what'd you do? Sure, we left the dining car, Rouge put me aside. Uh, it's about, about the egg, we went to the separate way, stop to discover the egg was here, played slot machines, stream, this train is on jolt, gave me the present, which stopped by, shot a pass through as well, as brief, gave the execute and left. Any sort of proof you're here playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning. So I say the cash out voucher. You can take a look. Let's see here. For 14,000 credits? That's an enormous payout. How did you? I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That smirk. She is so self aware. They should have had a little smile there that. Uh, well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime, and Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Have a seen her set Sonic Rush. Of course, can do. I guess technically generations, they didn't even get to interact once there. God dang. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now what can I do for you, darlings? Are you hungry? What a paltry menu. Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. Not a problem, just let me know if you need something later. Sure, if I need a bag of chips, so I'll holler. Your alibi? Go ahead, go over your alibi for us. We ain't beginning murder mystery. What'd you do? Once we pair it up, rope during the chow egg hunt. Split up at the casino, looking for blueprints, went to the library, and saloon card, helped down the library car. You see Sonic at all? Sonic, no. I saw him at the Donnie Con in the beginning. Anything to support that claim? Well, listen, plenty of people saw me poking around. I have blueprints on me. How they had time to chase down Sonic, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We should you make that question, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. Hmm, should you get a slot machine to try? No, move on. I respect your restraint. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, play the slots. Alright, let's see. A big money, a big money. Well, I lost. Do I try again? Yes. All right, let's see, big money, big money. I only did this once, first time, so let's see if I keep doing it. Big money, big money. Right? What do you expect to happen if you keep playing? Big money? I'm gonna get it this time, you'll see. Ah, uh, lost, maybe next time I'll get it. All right, let's see, big money, big money. You know, definition and Sandy is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome, right? I'm starting to get worried here. Don't worry, Tails, I got it this time. Oh, okay. right, I'm so sorry. Well, I lost, I'll try again. Let's see, big, big. Have you ever heard of sunk cost fallacy? The sunk cost fallacy? The phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy, of course, actually, because they have invested heavily in it, even when it's clear the abandonment would be more beneficial. Of course I've heard of it, why do you ask? Oh, no reason. All right, big money, big money. Well, I lost, I'll try again. I'll be over here when you decide you're done. All right, big money, big money. It seems like, all right, Tails is done, it looks like. Oh, thank goodness. Your gambling edition is gonna need some talking about once we're down here. I really thought I lost you for a second. Hey, yeah, let's go. Right, it's like, I lost myself. I lost a part of myself. Uh, okay, we already asked for Ujab. I think we got everything, actually. So let's go. Ready to get going? Maybe do a few more games. Don't let us know something. I'm gonna slow you down. Yeah, let's save first. Let's find Shadow. Let's do it. Lounge car. Now is as good a time as any to clean my pockets. I know. Oh, right, Amy. <clears throat> I know you won't talk. But I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. Uh, that. That wasn't the Amy voice, I don't think. I know. Okay, I got it. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons, I... No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, 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 what's going on? Um, I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when you microwave chili dogs delicious. I'd also like to know what you've been looking at locking on the doors throughout the train shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Huh. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, right, seems like Cheryl's gonna talk, let's just investigating. All right, ready to find some answers, tale? Indubitably, my dear right. Right, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure, uh, wait, is there reason you want me to do it? 
Uh, what if they fall out? Or worse, someone leaves out. I just think you should do it. No, Tails, you must open it. All right, tough love, I get it. Here goes nothing. Oh, it's just some sweaters. See, not so bad, huh? Just dusty. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, ah! sorry, couldn't help it. <laughs> right, I'm fragile. I'm sorry, man. Hmm. Tails, do you see this? The pull string? Right. Uh, what? It's gotta activate something. What? Th 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 back in the wardrobe moment. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we need to see where this leads. He is curious. This leads to something big. <gasps> this is the library. This is the secret passageway in the library. I don't believe it. Sh sh quick, 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 back to the package between my spots. Oh. We need to add that to inventory. All right. There's another robot arm just doing his thing. That's a pulley. Do you have power over these arms? You tell it to do something. <laughs> you tell it to do something? No, oh, no, but I'll get a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you give me a high five? It doesn't even listen to you. But I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. The tail's high five. Give me a cold chaos cola? Uh, nope, not listen to me. Uh, I'm quite parched too. I could run and get a chaos full cola for you. Oh, no, no, I'll be all right. Thank you, Tails. I'm the most you working here after all. <gasps> hey, it's the big chow hand. Play us a ditty. They don't miss. It's peak, I'm afraid. Give us a jam. I feel reawakened. Persisting Big Chow Man. Take a beat. Music plant zone. Ah, peak. I love that zone. That is a really nice place. From Sonic Advance 2. Let's see. Okay, trying to find everything other than... Yeah, there's nothing else in here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. This is an important one. Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. Big the Cat. These windows are huge. What a view. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? That's what I hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. I wanna be on the train. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Okay, same scene. Sometimes I gotta check. Huh. A uh, key ring must be shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I fear the locksmith will have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. I do kind of want it. So, like, for the whole murder mystery game, was Shadow given all these separate keys? Because it's like, it seems like, you know, Amy's the only one who's given any sort of special key, you know, the big birthday girl key. But we never talked about how Shadow got all these keys. He just walked in dressed like this. And next thing we know, Shadow's passing keys to everybody. But we don't actually know if the conductor was like, okay, since you, your role is locksmith, you get to have all these keys. That also makes him like the one that's like, oh, you're, you're very obviously a prime suspect because you can use these lock keys to go anywhere you want, do anything you want. Seems the printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic singing a song. Ah, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface is very clear, but I'm gonna let it stump me. Ah. There's Ian Jr. again. And here you go! Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. Oh, y'all y'all singing Breakthrough at all? I'll uh, quietly set this back to the printer. I've been here waiting for the longest time. Y'all, that Sonic rolling about. Hang on, I think I remember which buttons to press. Is it really that complicated? Have you ever had a printer work when you wanted to? <laughs> Not really. Yeah, fair enough. And there, working like a charm. There you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll just uh, set this back on the printer. Tails. No. Tails. I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin is an empty, right? And you've just been disappointed every time. Are oh, you going to get sad again if there's something in the trash bin, right? Maybe. There's always something in the trash bin. 
All right, let's check the trash bin. Oh my god! <laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website? It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's have their inventory. Oh, we sure isn't just trash. I'll let you have this. There's always success if you just trash bin. Couple papers out to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find what really happened. Oh, well, first let's talk to Amy. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Uh, just a hot tip, but I'll be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shining a big light on this whole case. I hear sharing is caring. No way. Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always the first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him, then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident. We'll hold you to it. <sighs> Can I take your order? I'm not ordering a single thing till we get my... Until we get birthday cake. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise, I'll get full on dinner and can't have any cake. You have priorities. I respect that. It just makes sense. Yeah, she's, she's spitting. She's on or something. So I think this one's just a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Well, we can say, could you please tell us? No way. Okay, same code. I'm so close to getting the scoop of the century. I can feel it. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I asked you to leave me be. That stare is so cold. You know what, maybe we will get out of here eventually. Actually, right, we certainly will not. Mm, can I get your order, sir? I'll take you up on that coffee. When I'm back in the dining car, I'll whip that right up. A coffee on the train is no better combination. Some marshmallows will make it perfect. Sure. It took every muscle in his body to agree with Tails. Uh, that was my second option here now. Yeah, there's nothing I can help you. Oh, I think that is new. I don't think I can help either of you with. I asked you leave me be. Okay, no, that isn't. Huh. So we talk with you first. Oh, a question for moi. You know the journalist can't be the murderer, remember? We've learned the train of confiscating any weapons brought on board. But you've had your hammer this whole time. <gasps> That's a good point. Simple, the birthday girl gets what the birthday girl wants. And I don't go anywhere without my hammer. Ah, birthday law. We should have known. Everyone knows the birthday rules. Makes sense to me. Now, no more questions. When you ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. I'll be ready. And this last part. Right, we can move on to interrogate Shadow. Oh, yeah. I was going to look ahead of myself. I guess you were. Oh, we're going to go back to the investigation. Shadow. Peek is playing in the background. We have questions for you. Would you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sure, sorry, but this is important. The complete opposite of sure. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train. Every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door on this train, and... And I know why. <sighs> oh. Pray tell, why was I locking on the doors? Heh <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. I hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This door, right here in the lounge car, is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. You following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. <gasps> so you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others, so uh, one locked door was suspicious. Pure conjecture, you all. Get out and leave me be. Well, my sources can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My sources claim they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Speculation, even. Is the logic sound, though, with Shadow trapping Sonic? Sonic, you must 1v1 me. I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door of the conductor's car and prisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found the dining car? Exactly. I think right now I can explain the car change, however. Ugh. Right, what evidence do we have that Sonic that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? <laughs> hidden passage. Pulling a string in the wardrobe building really hidden passage. Upon inspection, it leads from the lounge to the library. Okay, let's get my thoughts in order. Has been a while since we had to use this thing. Dust off the old brain! And yet this one is black and gray. Very shadowy, very shadowy. And it's got music in the background. Uh, like the And Chaos Spears coming down. He said, this is the ultimate power. For a true story, 
We're on the Arc Sonic. You know what happens on here. Stars don't twinkle, Sonic the Hedgehog. Really, I think that's Jet's thing to use Sonic's full name, not Shadow. Shadow just calls Sonic whatever he wants in whatever game. <laughs> it depends on the game, what he's calling Sonic. Right now, I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that, lets, that leads right into the library car. <laughs> what? A secret passage? So someone could have used a passage, snuck through the library car, walk past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, right? Whoops, that was a weird mix of Tails and Shadow's voices. Hmm, this suggests my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to the station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and then dropped the, bo the body off at the dining car. Oh. Are oh, you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am. But of course, it's just a theory. A game theory! I uh, don't have anything like this to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ha! Seen Tails and I are more thorough than you. If Shadow's not gonna talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did SPL and Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it'd be hard to sneak around two people. Right, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, SPL and Vector didn't see Shadow because. If Vector was a Knuckles, SPL was reading. So yeah, both are true. That's true, Vector was a Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow into the library car. See, things are falling into place. Uh, but what about SPL? I believe SPL was behind a bookshelf at the table reading. <gasps> SPO reading the library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He is lying. Oh, uh, what was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated... <laughs> when I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector, whatever game... Uh, at that whatever game... Hot monkey action or whatever, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for SPO, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you. You're currently my number one suspect. Why are you even searching for SPO, huh? <sighs> if you must know, I need to give him a key. As if. Why would a lost if he give me away his keys? Shadow's been giving me away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps. Right now, I can further validate Shadow's claim. What are you gonna do with what? Right, what happens to support Shadow's claim that he's giving keys away? Shadow's key ring with two dangling keys. Keys. I always thought a block six would have more keys than that. That feels good. Now. Let's dust off the old brain! Stars don't twinkle, moon does it shine! Yeah! There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on the key ring. Those are two keys Shadow meant to give Espion and Vector. No, no way! Uh, well, well, what if his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Oh, interesting. Uh, so let's say Shadow's telling the truth, then what? Huh? If Shadow didn't marry Sonic and bring him to the honey car, then what possible reason could he have for locking the doors? Hmm. She's right, her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't uh, presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really a sense on murder? Of course he is. He's everyone's first pick. <laughs> That's why he's innocent. I think Right and I know exactly why Shadow's locking on the doors. Why does he give a clue to me too? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Huh? Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. <sighs> Uh, just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. Uh, but that's okay. Sonic's dead and, you know, Shadow's Shadow, I guess. Just bringing them being here is enough. Shadow is not incapable of giving presents. Understood. Thank you, Amy. A disclaimer, I think Shadow's fully capable of giving presents. Of course, of course. Right? Uh, yes, Tails. I have a theory, but need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. I guess it depends on which Shadow, of course, which one is giving presents. Which game are we in? Then we'll determine if we're getting presents from Shadow or not. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy a birthday key, not Shadow. So, why would he lock other doors and not give us a key? Shadow couldn't find us, Shadow wanted to keep us away. Uh, couldn't find us? Maybe, but Shadow knew Amy, you and I, starting a dotting car. He could have given us keys if he wanted to. That's compelling arguments, so maybe. Shadow wanted to keep us away. 
But should I lock out the doors to keep us away? Not us, right? I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. Uh, I think I was going a little Amy on that voice. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. <sighs> ah. What? Excuse me. Is that W supposed to be lowercase? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Hmm. Oh, wow. Right, show me the evidence. Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Why? What evidence shows that Shadow didn't want Amy to know? Ball of paper found in a trash bin. I kind of want to see what it is. And look, that feels right. Oh, just to organize my thoughts. Think. Like at this point, I'm noticing, yeah, that think time is getting visibly faster. Like this is the point where things start getting a little crazier. Yeah. You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? We well, found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's on a band's ticket website. T Tails. <gasps> Oh, this is our honey's website. Oh, wait, I love them. Uh, oh, honey. It's the fan I'm currently obsessed with. Jamie B is oh, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name. Ah, that's where Charmy is. Yes, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't gotten any of the shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You had to be ready online at a specific time and it's out in minutes. And, you know, <laughs> wherever Cream and Big are, I mean, we know where Big is, but wherever Cream is. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. This usually is coming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figure things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. I'm picking up what he's putting down! The print of the hot, hot honey's band ticket website exists because. Shadow's a big hot honey fan! Leave. Now. Hey, oh my god, music shall listen to. It's obviously not this. Brave hearted hero! Dot dot dot. What? Shadow, is this truth? Oh god, I missed the line. Like, I, I know what, what overall has happened, you know. Are you trying to give me concert tickets? For my birthday? Yeah, shut up, put it up, Amy. <laughs> I've done a poor job. I'm in a surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. <gasps> Shadow. I used that printer earlier and found it difficult to manage. When logging on the website, did you print the homepage by accident? Hell the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers immediately. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder. Spill everything, shout out the cats out of the bag. I wanna know everything. Oh, fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oh, probably our fault there. Uh, sorry, that's a detective's job, I suppose. Huh. When I rode on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift. Except for me. Worried for my social status, something that I am very well known to worry about, of course, of course. I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey Live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. See, I talked about this before, but yeah, I really like how Shadow is in this game. He's, he acts all, you know, he's still his competitive self. He's still like, yeah, I, I beat the shit out of Knuckles and Vector at Super Demon Ball. And you know, oh, oh, this is clearly about his social status. Of course, of course. But he's also close enough to the main crew to know what Amy's current favorite band is and that she'd never seen them live. And he's like, okay, and I know the tickets sell out. So we gotta get this stuff quick. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but will be available soon. Is that the appointment you guys speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. And now I can't, because you guys kept interrupting me. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys to get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. Yeah, it didn't work. Amy still managed to get in here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. Yeah, the key opens any door on the train. Come through every locked door with ease. The plans fail for the birthday key. Oh, I should have guessed it. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I, you just were so sweet. After I accused you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later and make it up to you. You can come with me. I, I don't know if... It's too late. It's happening. Oh, I can't wait to show up a lifetime. Oh, fine. 
And yeah, Amy and Shadow, uh, ever since that uh, most recent Tori Twig takeover, I'm like, oh, hey, they actually could really be friends. Like, they, they could be. They got this very opposite, like, outward uh, way they present themselves. You know, Amy's very outwardly bubbly, all social, all that. You know, Shadow's very reserved, might even look a little cold to people, uncaring. But of course, he definitely cares about people deep down. I think they could be good friends. I think, I think we need to see more Amy and Shadow interactions, you know, after SA2. I think that's like the last game they really had any sort of big interaction in. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Huh. Seems Mr. Shadow's locked door has finally reached its end. I blame my source for all this. This was not a tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow's behind everything. My credibility is a jurist reporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who's the source for your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Uh, but you can investigate one last area. The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to have been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Right? I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. God, I love when Sonic was dead. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this tale. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Do we have to? Oh, let's do it. Come on, to the conductor's car. I wonder what we'll find there. The conductor, I'm sure. Admittedly, I haven't seen the conductor in a while. Hope he's all right. I can't believe Secret Passage was here the whole time. That would have been very useful. Yes, library is very close to the bathroom. It would have been really convenient. <sighs> I see our priorities are different. Ready to go to Good Edgar's car? After a few more songs. I wonder if the band takes requests. <laughs> One more banger for the road. They don't miss mm, Peekums Incarnate. Let's see, everything else we have basically taken care of, yeah. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer. Oh, yeah, I did not look at this. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is a shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using a computer here, you must really need to use it. Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. Conductor car. I should really start my evidence before I continue. My short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty. Uh, wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when we left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. This image goes hard. <laughs> That shadow pose goes hard. Come on. He made the outfit work with that kind of pose. It, it, it's, it's peak. It could be. Could it be? Before we talk to Amy, I think we should keep looking around for clues. Good call. Is it hard that we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figure he's hard. had to drive the train the entire time. I guess the same, but the train's quick speed is odd. Quick speed up is odd. And we currently don't know where he is. I hope he's alright. And merely, I do miss his laugh. Fa ha ha ha. Huh. Shadow, did you hear me? Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand. Wife by your side. Paradise. All right, all right. We get it. He loves his wife. He's a wife guy. I respect the hustle, but God. A microphone. We can talk the whole train with this. Mm, should I say something? Right? Why are you reaching for the mic? Oh. I just thought offering get some musical entertainment. That was impressive, right? Thank you for sharing. I'm gonna see screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they used to show information in advertisements. They're nice, the picture is really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said, happy birthday, Amy. That was so cute. Yeah, in the first room, right. Uh, the next stab being for nasal medication was a bit jarring, though. The high quality screens probably didn't do any favors. Not at all, perhaps too much detail. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's had this begonia with his wife. Hope they have a great trip. 
32 years a long time. Wish them a lot of happiness. Many future sorrow will be fleeting. Uh, y yes, I wish that too. Thank you, poet Shadow. You know Aspio's the poet, right? You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. I've been free. I'm free. In the wind, what might I say? You sound like finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go on the high note. I said this, you can't check this again. No, 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 they're right. You should always check the trash bin. Let's give it a look. You gave in so easily. Will you be okay if there's something in there? I passed it the once. No one can take that away from me. I'll be fine. Huh. Nothing in there, huh? Oh, no, you look so sad about it. You two have been talking about the trash can for a while now. Did you find something? Yeah, I want to see. Is it a clue? Uh, um, maybe just leave right alone for a second. <laughs> uh, huh? This robot is completely getting torn off. Yo, how creepy. The harm is powerful. It would be tough to break out of his grip. A lot of people have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. I didn't realize that the robot arms could also drive a train. Yeah, but they can't access every function of the train like a conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions myself. Maybe we could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It is true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Ah, uh, no, guys. <laughs> huh, what's this? Someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart. It's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon in this train. <gasps> uh, th that shouldn't be possible. Tess is right. The train takes any weapon on the passenger before landing them aboard. Let's make note of this. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. All right. Well, you two, think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? Tie, tie, we named a suspect. What do you think, right? Ready to solve the case? Yes, sir. Hello, everyone. It's the way they speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. God, I love voicing Amy. <laughs> she is so fun to voice. Everyone. Hmm. Wonderful to have y'all here. Tails and I already announced our prime suspect. This is from right. Why has been Sonic shown up? Huh? Victor! Real quick, can you go with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead and lazy. Bomb. Ready, let's go get him! Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A uh, delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities I feel so catered to. Admittedly, this has been a lot of fun myself. You just have a chase. I see why you detected us on the mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I'm a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms, got me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Uh, yeah, that'd be fun, too. <laughs> Uh-oh. What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Don't. Oh, he dead for real, for real, for real, for real. He, he is not responding to us. Sonic, Sonic! What, is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse this week. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. Uh, I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic on my birthday, no less? Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? Hmm. This, this is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bomb as Tails. Yeah, absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to find out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic, you think I was hurt the whole time and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. 
Tails, right? I have one big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? All right, let's go through every wrong answer first. That can't be right. Neither Tails or I can be the murderer. Ah, that's right, let me pick again. That can't be right. I don't see it. Can you explain that reasoning? I'm gonna like this is hard to explain. Okay, so I don't see it as just kind of lying for everybody, it looks like. Oh! Oh, whoa, whoops. We well, just got the bonus motivation, remember? Shadow's locking out the door so I wouldn't see him buying me a gift. What a sweetie. Let me think again. For real, for real, Shadow is a sweetheart. Think, right? Who's the one suspect Shadow didn't see when he was walking through the train? Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Hey, I don't see it. Okay. These guys should be the same. I don't see it. Yeah. I like that Shadow's got the special dialogue. That's good. That's good. All right. Espio. Peek in the background. You were the one to murder Sonic. Because this version is faster. Very good. Love this version. Weren't you? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's about enough wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Reading Espio's, are we standing Espio's alibi? It would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Right? Could you fill everyone in? Right. What did we find that brings in the question Espio's alibi? Vector's been acting protective. I think what brings us to the alibi in the question is Vector's suspiciousness. He's an oddly protective and I believe he knows something. Oh, way to tell that room you don't have any friends! You go with the map of your friends! I know people wouldn't do this to Sonic! I think you're off the bit there, right? He also said you had no friends. Okay, change the strategy. What do we find that brings Espio's alibi? Vector's a real one. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passenger in the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but I will put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think right now I can explain that too. Right? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? He's a poet, so a quick reader. Espio's a poet. A fist of profession will make you quite the reader. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf. Okay, so both answers actually were right. <laughs> it's like, I get the idea. It's like, yeah, both could lead the same thing. But, you know, it's like, Espio is pretending to be a poet. But you know, in reality, he's like, you know, speed reading is apparently a ninja trait. You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd. Memorizing a whole book. I know it's a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know, it's plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He wants to speed write a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right, Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage. You know he's a murderer, that is foul. <laughs> spoil the book for Knuckles. Then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what is, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden! That's right! How does people have known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Right? And I might not have the evidence to answer your question. But we know someone who does. Right? Who here has evidence to prove that Espio knew about the hidden passage? Rouge! Well, okay, let's get someone wrong first. That was really right in my mind. Maybe you give me a hint. They told us we can see something later, and now's the time to take a look. Who told us that? Who has evidence? Rouge! We need to see those blueprints! Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever, I already used to scalp my treasure. Came up cold. You can have it. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find a hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Ah, uh, uh, whoops. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, right. Do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Espio found them before Rouge did. Rouge, where did you find them? Oh, I, I, I forgot to choose the wrong answer first. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Whoops, I'm getting too into it! <laughs> oh, uh, the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. 
Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but right now I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm not sure how much harm SU could have caused Sonic, but right now I have evidence on how it was done. Huh. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? The blow dart on the floor of the conductor's car. No dartboard near you though. Suspicious. Okay, now to form an argument. Come on, focus! You're so close, right? What would Sonic do? What would Mia do? That part tripped me up like at least three times when I first was playing through. I was like, oh wait, this part has the, cause I didn't notice the cracks on the actual tile. So I was like, oh that guy, here we go again. This blue dot was found here in the conductor room. I believe Espio used the Tanoxon's unconscious. So you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart can count as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why there's so many holes in it? She, you, you are not beating the allegations, Espio. You deny the allegations? Of course I do. I am not. <laughs> is Espio beating the gay allegations? Let us, let us proceed. Let us see. Let me present my fr the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the deductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Also, I can't be gay because your mom gay. Ah, shoot, that's a good point. Is my mom gay? But Tails was on to something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors and Espio didn't have the key. He would have to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up in the library. Right now I know another way it could have been done. What do you do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at it? All right, let's take a look at the blueprints. Showcasing the full layout, specification meets car on the train. Good need the message, a code to save his handwritten in the corner. All right, now what is my argument? We're getting closer. Think, right, think, think. Hold up, y'all, and pull up my dream gear. And y'all ever played the dream gear? It's a classic. They got Sonic Journey 1 and 2 on this thing. Their last game's on the console. All right, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret patch to get to the dining car, then what route did you take to get to Sonic here? <gasps> there, there's a path about the conductor car! And it goes all the way to the dining car. Oh! <gasps> huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path that's sealing at least straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. Oh! <gasps> Espio vented! The vent, of course! That must be the entrance to the path! Allow me to check it out. Oh, my word. There's a path back here! And a track! A track, huh? An entire official soundtrack for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take them move to the after train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him into the dining car. Uh, Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. SBO's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? The cord of robotic arms completely sliced through. I humored the idea of an axe causing this, but weapons aren't allowed on the train. Whew, now I think about my argument. Yeah, hang on a second. Spin a little bit. You can do this right. You can do this. Think. Boom. All right. This is where I had to start focusing a little bit more. I feel like this is one of the first ones I got stuck on, if I'm remembering, if this is the one that I'm thinking of. I mean, not stuck on, but this is the first one that took me like a good few tries. Ah! I want those rings! Thank you. Oh! Alright. 
I think it was the first time I got hit. <laughs> so yeah, this probably is the first one that I got stuck on the first time. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms ca actually caught Sonic? Knuckles is a track the robot arms used to continue through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. C could that be true? Take a look at Sonic, he's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? <gasps> I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easy, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting, what? I feel like I've gotten like stronger and stronger with Shadow's accent the more I go. Because that was the... Like, that was the direction i was going shadow having a slight accent but i think it's gone a bit further because because david Humphrey's my favorite shadow uh oh i'll admit it i think i've said that before interesting theory tales but you have to admit these are a lot of coincidences and the david Humphrey he pulls this accent called translatican i think so i was going for something like that i think i think it's gone a little in a different direction like i try to not go straight for the characters voices like actual voice actors like when i'm like Oh, okay. If I want to do Amy voice, let me get Lisa Ortiz or, or something like this. Like, no, I'm not trying to go straight for like, you know, mimicking other uh, like actual voice actors for most of them. Like Vector, I do go for that sort of voice though. Uh, that Vector voice. But everyone else, I kind of do just try to, to put my own spin on it. I might not be able to link everything directly to SBO yet. But I have found one inconsistency. And for Tails, I feel like, true to his his character in English, I should just go for different voices every, like, almost every game. Every other game, Tails got a new voice actor, for real. In the 2000s. I guess in the 19, yeah, late 1990s, all the way to the 2000s. But I found one inconsistency. <gasps> what kind of inconsistency? Someone used to see false information, and I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? Amy, you received a hot scoop, didn't you? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. <gasps> Tails, you're right! SPO is having fun spreading a little misinformation online! SPO told me that Shadow was locking the door to trap Sonic, but we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop come from you, SPO? You have fun spreading a little misinformation? <gasps> No, of course not. I would never post uh, uh, an image, a PNG image of a little blue guy laughing as they talk about spreading misinformation. I would not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I said I was not going to trap with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I don't blame Shadow. I didn't blame him either. I don't know, SPO. Uh, what? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with that hidden passage? Duh! And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? I believe the murder used to train to control some moves Sonic from the conductor's car to the dining car. And lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. But examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone. That it only could have been one person. It was you, SPO. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh. Uh. <coughs> okay. Hey, guys. Sonic, you okay? Sonic, just as we solved the mystery. It's people's the murderer! Uh, right. SPO jumped me in the conductor car. Oh, dang it! You got me. A blow dart, though, really? It's non lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Oh, well, I could use an amp. Oh, wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. That's something important. SPO left me there. Something important? Important enough to save. I need everyone to listen. The train's up ahead, Nick. Huh? Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor's car, the conductor's already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. 
But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source, and the conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized. The train's powered by a flicky! A flicky? It's a tiny animal. There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed, and he refused. The way the conductor was destroying it, there is no more than a simple bad nick. If the conductor's his friend, the train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They, uh, they didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. Is the blow dart from SBO. Ah! 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 SBO, I'll get you back for that later. SBO, sleep with one eye open. Sleep with. No, SBO actually does have separated eyes, right? He's got, like, the big horn and, like, he's, he's got that fur skin, what it, well, the skin, because he's a chameleon, over his eyes, like, between his eyes. The lights in the room started to glow red. <gasps> hey, st stop! Oh, wait, this conductor. Hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. And the arms came for me next. I spin dash right through the robot arms, sliced off the rail it was on. Wow, I made you do an end this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and unpin me to the ground. Ah! The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got up to me. They beat my ass, for real, for real. Oh no. <sighs> mm -mm. Uh, everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered someone like the Hedgehog. Moitered even. Yeah, we already knew that. Mm. The situation has got so serious. Why would you just not tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart and they die. Are you crazy? This is a make-believe game. No one should get the blow dart. <sighs> I was just following the rules. See? What is that? It says, use this blow dart on a Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. It's laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing Mirage Express. Staff. Uh, what is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it. One of the robotic arms handed it to me. Oh. Why bitch shouldn't be allowed on the train? What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Right, who do you think attacked Sonic and hand to the blow dart? The train itself. I believe something's been orchestrating behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for a good while. And so I, oh, you know what? Let me, let me just choose the, the wrong option first. Yeah, the conductor. Uh, according to Sonic, the director was attacked by robotic arms. I doubt he attacked himself on purpose, and while it could have been an accident, I have a different theory. I believe someone's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Someone wanted Sonic out of the picture and for a good while, so I think the train itself is plotting something most devious. Ah. First, we learned the train's a bad egg, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous mess nonsense. You are seriously convinced the train is out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train! Oh, God. Come out and show yourself! Amy! It's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it! Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy! This train can have it! Come on, there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention! What was that? Hello! <sighs> Evil ass train. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Here, I can get down. Oh, God. Don't. Oh, no, a robot. I don't know how to. Don't touch him. Uh. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman. After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. A annoying. The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails like we always planned. What are you? Enough! The trains became a speed. Everyone grab something. Uh, uh, which one is about to start the train off? Oh! Sonic! <laughs> Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Oh! 
No, no! I can't keep my footing up! <laughs> One little smack now. Maybe could add a little more there. Oh, a bunch of fitness is falling in my pockets. Uh, gah, my head. Dales? Amy? Uh, isn't that just how- That's like how the Frontiers intro goes. He's like, I was like, oh my head, what happened? Dales? Amy? Say, hello? <laughs> you are the key, right? Oh, God! Not, not the cyberspace again. Hello? No need to yell, bud. This is Sonic. I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the train threw us back in the dining car. Where's everyone else? A uh, great question, but for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? Dog, I feel terrible. Yeah, things aren't looking the brightest. But when the situation's dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. Oh, Sonic's just cool as everyone says. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Let's lead the way. Hey, when you throw my arms are here to- Yo, it swiped right at me. Best leave it alone. The train is definitely mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before that arm swipes us again. It is so hard to try to think about, like, find a voice for Sonic. Like, nothing is speaking to me. Like, I try a lot of different ones. None of them just feels right exactly. Ah, oh, man. Like, hmm, I, I don't know, I don't know. What? What's wrong? The windows are all covered up. I mean, since I was the main character, I probably would just use my normal voice, but that's kind of the voice that, uh, Wright has. And, like, Tails just has a slightly more hesitant and higher pitch version. That's kind of what I was calling for. So it's like, I don't know if I'm doing three people with basically default voice. The windows are all covered up now. I never got to look at pretty views. Amy was saying the train slide's gonna be beat. I was so excited. After all we've been through, I'm sure the train company will offer you some kind of coupon for another visit. That'd be great. So I still know where my wallet is. Conductor and I found Vector's napkin in his napkin holder. Uh, what was this ticket doing there? Maybe he could use a napkin for his ticket. Is his ticket for a napkin? Ah, I hope the ticket doesn't have a ketchup stain. Uh, let's see. Wait, no! <laughs> the yellow girl was chilling. I missed when it was just showing us the weather. Yeah, I did not mean to click that, because we're advancing the story now. Whoops. Well, uh, that's better than yellow glow, I guess. No, not really. Oh, wait, Eggman. Uh... I know my rush voice, I'm just warning, let's see if I can pull it off. Hello! Hello! Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I don't think this was exactly my rush voice. I missed the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, Egghead. Ho <laughs> ho You spiky blue pest! Seems you finally take a passage on one of my passenger trains! You created this train? Who the heck are you? Do not talk to me! Oh, I'll ignore that. They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. Do not ever speak to me again, you filthy rodent. You will die. My involvement is well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your town just wasn't cut it. If I were to build Eggman Land, these problems would need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains and passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, proud or predictable? The people here fear giant spheres. It's science, I hear. Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Uh, did you not know this was happening? <laughs> Heavens no. I'm really not getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the Kabili Baddock Nick is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. Before the luxury train, I wanted to be sure things were without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happened aboard. The train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. So that confirms that the train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your if capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me! Huh? See, I got to thinking. I need to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my bad nicks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I do the bounty upon my army of bad nicks. First kept you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. The train wants to deliver to Eggman for a reward. Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train. It may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, duck? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you regret the day you curse me, you cross me, hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. Uh, <laughs> ciao. Eh, uh, he always knows how to get out of my skin. This is tough. 
But this trans motivation and being made by Eggman is no doubt powerful. Now to mention we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? Training purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. The whole time we were all in danger and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. Protector's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? I should have done more. Am I at fault here? I knew Sonic was hurt all along. Hey. I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, I get it. This theme's a banger, though. Let's listen to it for a bit. And you'll calm down for sure. It's easy to get question decisions that got you here. Ah, yes. It don't even matter. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you to help me think through this before I do something rash. Ah, uh, great therapy session, Sonic. See, I'm one of those before you think kind of guys. <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right, right? Breathe. Take a drink. Give me some, some water. Okay. We gotta get together to the car for the train to rise at Eggman's base. The door's been heavily fortified. How do we get through? Believe in myself. No matter the obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure it out. The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves what would Sonic do? So, what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Okay, I'm, I'm liking this one. I'm liking this idea for Sonic voice. Okay, we're, we're getting somewhere. Like slightly more higher pitched than I was like thinking for Sonic. That might've been the problem. I was kind of keeping myself a certain pitch for Sonic, but I could, I could probably, you know, widen the gap of pitch a bit. Wow, with one big wind up, Sonic spin dash was fast enough to get the door open. Eh, now the road's clear, nothing could stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Oh yeah, he means that shit. He actually means that. Save, please. Ready to go? Actually, give me a second. I get it. Well, let me know when you're ready. Oh yeah, but also, what else do we not check? Wow, so maybe this train, huh? No one's just rolling on it now. We know what we gotta do. Okay, that actually was something else. Ready to go save our friends? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. To the conductor car to end this mystery. And from now on, crack my knuckles, cause we got, the mini game has become the main game. All right, our friends are locked up in the cars ahead. In my last adventure, Max and my ring cow gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to burst through the next door too. Ready, let's do this. We don't have thinking music anymore, so I gotta, I might not be humming as much. This music is also really good. It's just, I don't have it as memorized as the think music. Whew. Also, it, it definitely feels a lot different now as the full screen. My eyes gotta adjust a bit more. All right, we are, we reached the saloon. Just wait till I see Eggman, I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah, when I first saw this, I was hoping that Knuckles would run with us. I can see why they didn't put resources in that because we'd have had everybody running with Sonic and that would take up a lot of space. I don't know. It would have been cool if you replaced the runner with the new character. There we go. Like have Knuckles running instead of Sonic. But of course, I'm not really like being all that nitpicky for like a free April Fool's game. Like they really did a lot. Like they put a lot into this game. Like for a free April Fool's game. Because when I first saw this, I was like, well, when I first saw it, it was someone posted some screenshots of it. So I already knew it was an actual game. I didn't even know it was an official Sonic game. I thought someone had released a fan game. So then I saw, you know, Sega put the launch trailer. I was like, oh my God. Okay, it's on Steam. It's free. I can get it now. I downloaded it, you know, a bit later. I was like, all right, let me play it. This game is really nice. It is really nice. But we'll, we'll talk more about that in the end. You all came for us. Of course, but let's move. The train was to take us prisoner and a reward. My rewards, get off this stupid train. Let's go. And yeah, we never actually got, you know, a Rouge and Blaze, uh, think segment. So now you should see what the background and colors look like. Like it's pink and purple, literally Rouge and Blaze color. Oh, no, missed that one. All right, so that's really cool. Okay, we gotta look out for those bonus, there we go. Those ring boxes, Oh, nice. 
Bang! Sonic, it's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. <laughs> we gotta move. You two ready? Always. Let's boogie. Shadow, don't kill me. Come on. We're working together here. He knows, he knows, it's alright. He's just he's just like, hey Sonic, come on, we we just having fun here, Sonic. I do wanna be a little more focused here though. I really could start losing rings if I'm not careful. I mean I think we're in the clear now, yeah. They locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more, let's go! Okay, were these the colors in the first room? Uh, so this is like, these are some pale colors. They don't really match Tails or Amy, I don't think. Oh, I already got enough rings, good God. It's like, yeah, Tails' eyes are blue, but yeah, I, I don't think that's what they're going for. Sonic! Sonic, you're here! Ah, this is no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right, I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. Huh, I guess Sonic and Amy have similar voices. Now I think about it. What's well, good? Excellent work tracking these pests. Now hurry to me! I'm gonna probably dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land. And probably another death egg. Don't us in the robots, not marketable robots. Oh, <laughs> hadn't done that in a while. Maybe I will turn you into robots to give Sage some new toys to play with. Yeah, when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, Sage, Sage, she's real. And she's still part of, like, Eggman's, you know, group. Because, you know, it's like, after Frontiers, it was kind of like, wow, what are they going to do with Sage? Like, I mean, you know, like, she kind of shadowed at, at the end there. So it's like, what is she going to do? I, I, of course, she, she's still hanging with Eggman. Eggman probably did some reprogramming. Who knows? Uh, technically, it kind of feels like she started from scratch. I don't know. I'm ready for the next mainline game to see Sage, and what is she cooking? Shut it, Eggman! Don't disappoint me, train! Hurry it up! I will not fail, my wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean that bounty. I don't care what you call it, just bring me those overgrown mammals! Oh, that Eggman! I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready! We're taking this thing down! Here we go. God, it's time for peak. This final battle music is really good. Oh, man. Let's do it. Okay, I also am definitely more focused now. Oh! None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave like it was nothing? He took the kids in the divorce. What do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring and married, you know. You just have to accept that. I don't think he was open for a polyamorous relationship. Have you asked? No. Oh, well, uh, maybe you should have asked first instead of just ki kidnapping him. I don't know. I would ask. My wish is to keep us... My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. In quotation marks, friends. You can't force someone to be friends with you! That's what's messed up! What's wrong with you? Shut up! Just shut up! You know what I mean? Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. May the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Promised me, you promised. 
Let him speak. Unhand him. Talk your shit, king. Let your nuts hang. Train, stop this. When I told you we'd be together forever, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. I even got married and have kids. Excuses. How dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely. So lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? Uh, oh, stop! What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. We have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. All right. For our next phase, we must fight the train. <laughs> vehicular manslaughter, for real, for real. Vehicular, vehicular slaughter. Ah, I missed that one. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. Ah, man, it's starting to have a lot going on, on the screen. It's difficult for my eyes to keep up. But I will overcome this. I will do it. I already have before. Hiya! The flicky. A flicky! This is just like the lower car where my ex best friend left the detective work to join Dr. Eggman. Amy, what were you cooking? What did you know? So, this really is a bad nick. Oh, wait, I think it was the conductor that. Right, right. So, I think the conductor's the one who, like, since this is one of the games on their train, lower cards were already made before him, but Amy at least knew enough of the lower cards to be like, okay, you're supposed to be the sheriff, you're supposed to be the business tycoon. So that's probably all she was told, but she doesn't know their motivations because she was like, no, that's in the lower cards. I didn't want to read around motivations. Anyway, the stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save them. On it. Let's show our pool of power. All right. Good breather before I, oh God, tough phase. Tough phases begin. Come on, we got this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can we still do this somehow? Oh, okay, we did. Nice. All right. Second hit. You know, one more hit and it's over. You know the rule of three? Just, just be delivered to Eggman already. What about, what about my happiness? Oh man, S Sonic Team loves killing robots. They love making robots feel bad and then killing them. Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me? Selfish? How, how dare you? Oh god, that big 100. <laughs> I am in hell. Okay, I say this, but I'm, I'm sweeping. Chromaji sweep. He's doing the damn thing. Oh my god. I got our first try this time. That took me like six tries the first time. Maybe more. No. No! 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 Oh, grab the flicky. Flicky, come here! It's over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. Yes! Amy is the final hit. Vehicular, vehicular slaughter. Activate! Amy. <laughs> and the heroic save. The train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. Oh. oh. I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble oh I think our work here is done let's get off this thing I feel like Amy could have shown a little more compassion for the robot <laughs> a little more if anybody on this on this train would you know other than the conductor I feel like Amy's the next one thank you 
Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Oh, and the train makes it back without issue. Oh. We did it! Well, I'll say I've never done a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step. It's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, you know my party's really by the end, someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually gonna miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. God, his wife's kind of a baddie. <laughs> you don't honestly ever believe what happened. I like how Wright's just hanging back there. <laughs> Wright's like, am I supposed to be here? So I won't even try. <laughs> yeah, she's got a really cool design. I love, like, I like pink hair characters. I like characters that have pink in their outfits. It's pretty cool. Also, I think Amy's design is pretty cool. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. Pink is a cool color to put on a character, I think. I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave us in the morning and you need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need the vacation, something terrible. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems like there's more than ready to begin his time after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? <laughs> An old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Seems that Flicky found a friend. Great job saying little guy, SBO. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be, you were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with the blow dart, I am telling you. One of those eyes better be open, or your detective agent is going to need a new member. Seriously, I dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. Ah, we're cool. Now we're all safe, it was fun. This group's a wild idea of fun. Oh boy, am I starving? I forgot we never ate. With all the clatter, I completely forgot I, forgot I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, using evidence, poking holes in alibis. That was Sonic? Uh, wait, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? The station is a bakery, and look what I bought! <gasps> ah, a birthday cake! Happy birthday, Amy! To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To the venture of birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personality. Happy birthday. I'm not smart enough to know if personality is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah, you guys. We almost got murdered by a lowly train, but, but, I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything, never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now let's have some cake. Yes, please. Dig it, everybody. Yay. I hope it's chocolate. That's where you get the half and half, bro. You always get the half and half. My family, we always get the half and half. And yeah, I saw this. I was like, Sage! Wow, actual, like, Sage, like, official art of Sage in 2D in a Sonic game. Like, that's crazy. We're breaking records here. We're setting new boundaries, new records. <sighs> that train's not making it here, is it? Orbot, prepare a bath. The happy rubber duck or the angry one? Angry! Sure, choice your evilness. Shut it! Whoops, I have never voiced Orban and Cubot. Fortunately, they only have one line. Uh, and that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. Entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment, and then back to things as they were. So these realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I... Stuck with the gig. And then... One million's in the lottery, nah. We cannot let Wright's whole sunk cost fallacy in the casino pay off now. We need to teach them that that's wrong. <laughs> that is wrong. And after that, I... Now I'm a local supermarket and I managed to fly to space. Yeah, that's just been my life. 
the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. This was crazy to see. I explained it a bit earlier, but yeah, just seeing this on Steam, it's like, wow, this is a real game. And it's not a big meme joke game, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's fun and lighthearted. Like, you know, it's not like, oh god, yo, know, we're, we're playing uh, Child 2005, this game is so serious. You, no, no, it's just a fun little murder mystery, you know. Because it's like, you know, when Sonic dies, it's like, okay, did he literally die? Or is, you know, that's what everyone was thinking. Especially because the way the, the launch trailer set it up. Um, but yeah, you know, they're just playing a fun little murder mystery game that got pretty serious in the end. It's like, okay, yeah, we're, we're actually about to, we could die here. <laughs> we could die once we're taking the Eggman. We don't know what's about to happen. I mean, if they, if they got taken to Eggman, I'm sure they could have handled it, but you know. It, it, who, who knows where Eggman was like having this train drop them off. But yeah, this game was a lot of fun. It was really nice to just see every character like post Frontiers, like, it, you know, post Frontiers writing, because you know, this is a whole different writer, of course, whole different writing team. Um, it's just nice to see these characters in official media, like characters we haven't seen like in some time and just, you know, a full story. Like this is a visual novel, the dialogue, the writing, that is the main, like, like the main 75% of any visual novel is the novel part of the visual novel. And so this was just a nice game. It was great to see everyone's characters, you know, be pretty nice. At first I was like, I was feeling a little off about Blaze, but no, she was, she was fine. I think she was fine. She seemed like very, I am a princess. As a princess, I do X, Y, Z, like sort of talk. But it was like, nah, she, she isn't really doing that that much. She was kind of like in the intro that she was kind of doing that. And I know she does that sometimes. And like, Team Sonic Racing, that's like the one of the only modern games she's been in to have enough dialogue to be like, oh yeah, that's how she acted. She only did that, like she did that a bit. Um, yeah, other than that, I liked, I enjoyed everyone here. Um, everyone was pretty nicely written, I think. You know, that's just my opinion. I'm just, I'm just one guy out here. I liked how everyone was. And you know me, Shadow fan, I'm especially sitting here like, okay, they popped off with Shadow. I really like how he's still competitive because I actually like the competitive side of him. Like, ever since Sonic Adventure 2, he's always been competitive. Like, you saw that Prison Island scene, you know, he's like, okay, I can destroy the entire world quicker if I hurry and get the Chaos Emeralds and, you know, get, you know, further progress my plan. But this blue hedgehog I met once just called me a faker. I gotta stop, talk shit to him, fight him, and beat him up. You know, he's, he's very competitive. If someone calls his status in the question back then, you know, he'd be like, okay, you're not getting away with that, by the way. <laughs> just so you know, you're not getting away with that. It's like the Shadow is competitive. He's, he's got that competitive side to him. And especially being competitive over something as, so, as small as like Super Monkey Ball uh, for the arcade. I think that's a really nice way to keep his competitiveness. Uh, but he's also a sweetheart. Like, I didn't even notice, like, I didn't even see that line that uh, Wright said uh, in the conductor's room where he's like, okay, yeah, Shadow's, I mean, well, they're like, uh, Shadow's so much of a sweetheart, you know. Uh, Shadow's a sweetheart. He was getting Amy that gift and all that stuff. Which is just really nice that he's like assimilated into the friend group enough to know Amy's favorite band of all things. Like, I think that was just really nice. And he was genuinely like, yeah, I got this, you know, for your, fine, happy birthday. I was getting you this for your birthday. You know, he wasn't even trying to skirt around it. He did try a bit with the whole like, this is my social status at stake. It's like, nah, you just being a good friend. You are trying to get her the ultimate gift, maybe. You know, you know it's her favorite band and their tickets are crazy difficult to come by. Anyway, the graphics were great. The music was great. Like, I love the graphics and the music in this game. They are really nice. I like all the uh, poses and expressions everyone has. I like the, you know, shading style with, like, the pure black silhouette style, which is definitely, you know, shading. And, yeah, just a nice game all around. I like the thinking segments. Uh, definitely, you know, fun little thing, too. And that is that. Thank you guys for joining me for this journey. This is definitely a different type of let's play. You know, this isn't even a stream. It's just me sitting here recording this whole game all in one sitting. And, uh, yeah, I've been meaning to play another Sonic game at some point. Uh, you know, right now I'm in the middle of Seven Dragon DS let's play. You know, you know, it's a bit of a plug advertisement, you know, if you want to start watching that. We're, we're getting pretty close to the end of that game, I think. We're about 80% of the way through. It's an RPG, so, you know, it's a long, one of the longer let's plays on here. But, you know, that's enough about that. Thank you for joining me for the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. We solved the case. The boy is alive and well. We'll have to see where everyone's journeys take them next. So until next time.
And until the next Let's Play, technically, not really. But you know what I mean. Later!